Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Octoman and this is the Let's Play for Quebland, a browser game text, uh, based on, or semi-idle browser game, which is a text-based adventure basically. And you can access this on congregate.com, uh, the link is down below in the description, as well as you can find the docs document about everything about the resources and stuff, which is going to be at the moment inside the game. What you can also see, this game is currently in version 1.09a, so probably when you see this video later on, you might want to uh, check out if something has been changed since the day I made some changes, or actually I recorded this one. So in the last part, we were actually able to get our for our Sir Got the Dwarf for getting him or bringing him some cheese. We found the cheese somewhere, I believe it was in the Higashi Woods or somewhere on the road to Northern Isle. And in the foot of Mount Yama, we found this guy. And what we now want to do is we want to get rich. And how to get rich? Of course, we need to get the dude... Um, or actually, we get uh, need to get some fish. We already increased our our free space in the inventory to rather high one. So probably I'm gonna try to increase my strength a bit more uh, to maybe uh, so that I have like a hundred in case of inventory. And uh, we are kind of strong already, but also we need quite some good amount of money now by going into fishing. And fishing is going to be the fastest way at all times how we can actually get this. So, um, uh, yeah, and we, what we need for that fishing or to be a rather efficient, we need a better net. I had luck and got a medium net already, so I'm gonna put this into my inventory. I'm gonna get rid of my hammer, sword, axe, and probably I go to tapas pretty quick and uh, sell the cheese. I could even eat it, doesn't really matter. And what I want to do right now is I want to fish fish. And uh, to fish the correct fish, I want to go to fishing tab and see where I can get angry crab, which should give me the best at the moment. Hi, Captain Zaken. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope you're feeling great. And uh, I try to find the angry crab anyhow. And I have no idea where it is located. So we probably want to check out everything over here, like going through all that. If you are lazy, you can also go into uh, the description down below and you can go find the resources document where all the locations of all the fishes and stuff like that are going to be inside. Uh, yes, I do like MMORPGs. So what I need to find right now is I need to find something which is giving me uh, angry crabs. And this probably is not a reachable point for us, but I'm gonna check out like everything over here. Somehow this is all opened. Oh, I can uh, put this together like that. Okay, that's better. So I can uh, rather quick go through that. So um, there are some crabs and I'm not quite sure if that is the same crab, but I try that. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, what's cool is now, uh, this is new, this crab over here. I haven't seen this before. Pretty decent. Probably there was some change already in the code to show those little icons. Uh, do I have ac epic games? What kind of epic games? Like an uh, epic MMO? Uh, or what do you mean, Captain Zaken? Or do you mean an epic games account? So now, as you can see, my inventory is going to fill up quite fast and I don't even have a medium net equipped. And uh, so with equipping that, it should be even more efficient. As you can see, now it is filling up so fast over here in the top with the medium net um, included, I can easily fill up all my inventory space in like no time. Yeah, the program Epic Games, I have that. So... But I, I don't own uh, much games from Epic Games. If, if that is what you mean.
So once again, I go back to Tapper score, uh, store and sell all my angry crabs over here. I once again want to make sure that I rather quickly level up. Dauntless. I have uh, Dauntless already installed, I guess. So probably I can... Uh, yeah, I, I even played this for quite some time already. So... And maybe I can, yeah, maybe I can do some uh, streaming on that. Oh, you mean right now? Oh, no, I'm currently streaming this one. I can't just go and, you know, uh, break that completely over here. <laughs> That's nice. Thanks a lot for that. But still, uh, probably uh, not a good timing over here. Maybe we can do this another time because I planned my time already for this stream right now and probably are going to go into this one later on. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Of course, we can uh, probably find another day, maybe next weekend or something, where we can play together. Okay, cool. So... Um, um, I want to go and increase my value in case of fishing once again. So I need to find, I forgot right now where this little crabs have been. I really don't remember. There we go. In the rocky shores beach. And I keep on going and grabbing more and more angry crabs until I reach level 20 of fishing. So I can go with ice fish. And even I can go with scallop. And I believe scallops are going to be the ones which are giving us the most value over here. So... Uh, meanwhile, we are hunting for these uh, scallops later on. We probably get the most, uh, uh, this maybe is going to be the most efficient way to get EXP. So the angry crab over here gives us 11 EXP. So probably I want to check out the sunfish. Um, oh no, now I don't need to, since I can already go for ice fish and scallop. So what I do is once again, I clear pretty quick my net, or in this case, my inventory, sell all my fishes over here. Meanwhile, I do so, of course, I get quite some money over there. And I want to make sure that I get more money in the long run, I guess. So that's important over there. So I need to find a spot for ice fish. And I probably it was over here anywhere. Um, but I'm not quite sure. So that's why I need to click through all of these and see where they have been. And probably there are some other ones. It's level 52, level 60. So do you do you stream on your own, Captain Zaken, on a Dauntless? Because it sounds like it, anyhow. Swampland, Gather Rice Battle. Uh, no, I don't want to battle here. Uh, you don't stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it sounds like when you play on Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, and or Sunday, then it sounds like uh, you're quite busy with that by, for example, uh, yeah, taking a channel or creating a channel on your own or probably have some. So in the Northern Idol dock, I found scallops and ice fish. So I will get one ice fish and one scallop just in case and see what is giving us the most experience. Scallop gives us 50 Icefish gives us 10. So probably I'm gonna go with scallops and fill my net, hopefully quick enough. And meanwhile, having the medium net, this might take quite some time. With a large net, this is super fast in here. So scallops will be gathered in a couple of seconds, basically. So probably that's something for you. You're studying. Oh, okay. So you have quite some time, it seems, um, with uh, in between your studies. So, and yeah, this is what you want to do over here. You want to get your, uh, yeah, your fishing experience as high as you can, as fast as you can, whenever you are at the point where you can almost go everywhere. We know that we can get sardine in uh, level 25 and we unlocked or I unlocked this position or this place already where we can go into and uh, get more sardines and of course make sure that we get more EXP uh, you know, later on, I mean, higher than getting the scallops. Once again, in the resources documents, I have linked down below in the description, which uh, is accessible for, uh, for everyone, basically. You can go and uh, check out what's giving us or you the best uh, EXP on the long run. And uh, probably that's what you want to check out. Meanwhile, 
you're playing the game and of course get your efficiency even higher or as high as you can um, if we are more after uh, money we probably get more money for uh, selling an ice fish than a scallop but once again this is always something you need to take care of so probably ice fish give us more money in the in the end than a scallop so we can check this out once we are entering the shop but for the moment we go with scallop because we want to get our level as high as possible probably to level 70 as quick as we can just to make sure to grab tuna on the way and tuna is whenever we have at least a large net it takes like let's say five minutes or something uh, to get 30,000 coins or gold just by grabbing tuna and just fishing and this is quite something you want to take a look at okay let's check out the pricing i go to kogoa town so i don't le le uh, i don't lose track over here go to the rocky shore house and i can go and sell these as you can see scallops go for 10 ice fish go for five so i probably stick to scallop for a while until i reach a correct point and also since once again i can almost get 100 fishes per run and i don't want to waste time over here um I can uh, get some good amount of money, like a thousand per run, whenever my inventory space is almost full, basically. Uh, yeah, for working for some money, of course, that's important, Zaken. Otherwise, well, you're gonna you're gonna be ruined at one day or the other. Except you have some rich, you know, parents or something which are giving you some money for the study. <laughs> But uh, doing the studies uh, would also be most importantly, I guess. I mean, if you have time, of course, a Saturday, Sunday is weekends, but some people uh, more or less go f go more for uh, yeah, increasing their, their pocket, I guess, to study probably faster or whatever. So, um, yeah that's what i mean because study does cost quite some money and probably you want to waste i uh, just to say waste your time into uh, cr increasing your pocket amount so you probably can make a good living later on from that as well and of course uh, pay your fees ha yeah that's good of course thousand is like nothing so and when you have to pay the fees for the school at least and of course you need to live from something of course it's taking quite some time uh, to get a point or get to a point where you have some money left to for example go to the cinema or uh, anyhow uh, waste your free time with friends and stuff like that going to somewhere drink a cocktail i don't know a beer or whatever uh, so yeah I totally understand this and a thousand per month of course is like almost nothing right because you need to sleep somewhere you need to eat something you need to pay the fees stuff like this so yeah um, I'm almost full again in my inventory space over here probably sooner or later I try to get a large net to even increase the value of that as well which means it would increase the efficiency to 20% or, or to 60% in total by 20%. I'm going to sell all of these once again. In total, I get 920 bucks and I can already go to get sardine and I'm not quite sure where that was. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky just to be 13. I mean, just, you know. Um... So what we want to do is we want to find now where Sardine is. And I'm quite sure it was uh, on our way down here. There we go. Fish for Zarti Sardines in West Uragota Docks. I'm going to try those out. See how fast we can fill our inventory and what the value is. As you can see, Zardine gives us less EXP. Like 10 less than the Scallop. But on the other hand, it probably gives us way more uh, gold in the end. Or like whenever we are selling these. You can check this out of course every time you're gonna go to a shop but if a sardine may give you probably 20 or 30 or more then uh, you probably go and uh, sell sardine and maybe take the 10 exp less in the end uh, will it do dauntless at night probably not i mean i don't have the time to do this this night because i have a meeting in an hour and so on and so forth so probably i don't do to uh do 
play at least today anymore i guess um also i need to take care of family and stuff like that so maybe we can uh, meet another day as i said before and play dauntless i'm not quite sure how how good dauntless became since the last time i played dauntless it was like i don't know so several months ago Oh, I'm not in your country. In your country, that's true. So I believe you are from the US. So you maybe have an, uh, a difference of time between six and seven hours. You finished the game, and that's good. Why are you playing a finished game? Because you want to get better loot, right? So I'm done. West Uga Dingsta Uga uh, Ura Gotha Docks. I go to Ura Gotha Town and see uh, for what do I sell the sardine. As you can see, the value is higher. It's 14 each. And uh, so in the end, we're going to get like almost uh, 1,300 for my currently uh, filled inventory space. So I go back to the docks and go more, go get more sardines. And uh, as you can see, my coin value is increasing quite good just for uh, doing that. Oh, okay. So you're playing while waiting for new content. Okay. That's interesting uh, since, once again, if you have beaten like everything in a game, uh, sometimes there's no. Yeah, let's say point in uh, you know waiting for new content because probably most of the time you don't uh, yeah if you already made it through you don't need to have better weapons because you already made it right uh, I don't know where I have been I believe the last one I found was the Dark Walker or something probably there's just one or two more um, creatures I haven't seen in Dauntless uh, since my friend also lost. Uh, let's say uh, he didn't want it to play it anymore since it was like just super grindy and you know all of that stuff and alone it probably makes less sense and also you need to grind for all these parts for the armors which is pretty cool I mean I like the the idea behind it okay yeah of course uh, if they do see a value in that game of course they're gonna bring up more stuff which is pretty decent. Also, the design is pretty neat. I mean, I like it. Still, once again, it was uh, became, became sooner or later super grindy, and you're gonna do a repeat and repeat and repeat. Then uh, those uh, hardcore mobs were pretty interesting when you hit them the first time, but uh, when you know what you're playing and how you have to play, basically, then they are super simple, right? You just need to learn how they work, how they act, and so on. So it's basically the same as with any other game. Of course, you need to make sure that you learn what you are, uh, uh, yeah, what you are playing, and then you can literally, yeah, next through everything. So what's my current fishing skill? Is uh, level 33 already, so I can keep on going with fishing, fishing until once again I want, or I get my hand onto level uh, what was it 70 to get my tuna. And again, whenever I hit level 40, I can already go for abalone, and I believe I have seen abalone somewhere. When and whenever we are done with those, we can also go for sorry. I'm gonna try to find out the exp rates once again. You can do this mean while you're fishing like how much exp you get as well as what's the selling value but yeah oh you just unlock them but you probably haven't fought uh, against all of these barrel moves already okay okay yeah oh i was just uh, grinding uh, several armors and stuff like that until a specific point i guess i was trying to ba basically finish all armor sets and probably all gun sets i believe i had a gun uh or i was uh, into guns the most of the time so was trying to increase uh, all my gun skills and stuff like that because I didn't like the idea being too close or next to, uh, yeah, next to one of these uh, behemoths.
Oh no, you don't need to hack anything for me and for anyone else. You can just play the game or just leave it alone. So, and I don't need any hacks. And if I need any hack, then I would probably go into this on my own and hack it. But actually, no, I have no idea or actually I have no, there's no sense for me to do this because it will just ruin the game in all, at all. So, yeah, do what you like, but you don't do it for me. That's what I wanted to say. So when, yeah, pff, yeah, try out. If you if you feel happy when you can hack something, then of course do it. But I don't care about it. That's what I just wanted to say. So and I fill up my uh, inventory several more times until I can once again go into the abalone area over here with level forty of fishing, which should be uh, quite soon coming over here as you can see currently i'm at level 35 the efficiency goes down a bit since my medium net only has a 40 percent gather efficiency so probably at a specific level i might go and stop fishing and check out uh, if i can anyhow uh, increase my uh, yeah my gather efficiency with a large net over there yeah, of course, hacking makes you bored and it makes you bored of games and so on and so forth. So there's no clue, uh, especially if there's no paywall or anything. It has no clue in hacking, right? Even if... Uh, what you need to do, of course, chop wood. <laughs> That's the first thing you're going to do um when you're playing the game so you need to click on your bank and it tells you to pick up the inventory or actually the x into your inventory equip it and then find a wood on the left you're gonna have the cropland menu where you can go through like over here as you can see here's the bank then you put uh, stuff into your inventory you probably want to check the setting first you got five axes poor cool great i mean probably some problem over there but usually you only get one and then you make your way through the complete story line over here and try to get rich that's probably the biggest one over here you want to get your first let's say 100,000 coins for gnomes which are going to help you with this and that like auto fighting for you until that point you need to basically do everything on your own kind of and yeah then you fight your way through. So uh, I sold all my uh, sardines again. I'm gonna go back to the docks and get even more until my fishing level is going to be level 40, I guess. Was it 40? Yes. So shouldn't take too long over here. Just keep on going. As you can see, I'm almost, uh, I'm rather close to my 10,000 coins. Um, meanwhile, this gathering spaces or gathering uh, is going to happen. You can always go and stop by check in the resources dock where you where you want to uh, check out where are the gnomes located you can get how much money do you need and as well as where do you get like the what is the most efficient part for you like where do you go and uh, find sardine for example everything is going to be written inside this docs document once again the link is down below in the description just check it out and so this maybe simplifies your process and will you know help you with some riddles if you are not into riddles as well as you might want to go and um yeah see what's what's fitting you best and i told you like everything or close to everything already on the road to wherever i'm currently at like how do you get your first copper weapons? You're gonna go find the smithy first and uh, grab some copper from a copper, um, yeah, mine actually, or from from a vein, and then you are able to create all the copper tools and so on and so forth. And you're gonna level up your way through, like uh, increase your inventory space for yeah for bigger inventory, of course, by fighting the Magunari or whatever was the name, I don't know, and so on and so forth, just to increase your value. And of course, sell everything you don't need, and most of the time you don't need anything of that, except probably some trees or later on the copper and all the ores you can grab your hair, yeah, grab on your way. 
because these are going to be uh, your helpful later on whenever you're going to smithing or whatever. And you will do that because whenever you have the out of fighter dude, the, the gnome which costs like a hundred thousand, uh, if once you hit that point, whenever you got this guy, then you uh absolutely will him let him fight and meanwhile you can level up everything else like you can keep on uh, trying to find for example a urson hammer like all the parts of the urson hammer uh which you probably got already from the guy with a thousand two hundred uh hp which i was showing you in the higarashi woods or wherever it was or higarashi bridge so where, where you're gonna go and increase your inventory still and you know uh, you can increase Increase all your other fighting skills basically on Reza Quick uh, because you can do horrendous damage to this guy, and this is going to flow into any EXP you are currently, yeah, uh, uh, actually training into. So, how much do we need? Uh, two more levels, so basically one and a half level, and uh, I'm able to go to the next fishing spot which is going to be the El uh, Abalone as you can see it's also here located at the same point at the West Uragota docks same for Sori and the Sori are going to come afterwards like at level 42 and um, to in the next round where bef uh, or after I cleared my inventory like in uh, several seconds I'm gonna check this out uh, this documents out for you or with you together just for a moment to see what's giving us the most value of one of these three fishes over here like in case of getting money since once again we need a hundred thousand money and we want to make it so that we of course increase our value in case of fishing itself but also on the other hand we want to make sure that we uh, get at least some exp uh, to like yeah what is going to be the best like is it now sardine do we go co uh, and continue with sardine or do we go with a scallop or do we even go with abalone or later on with sorry so once again i have the site open here already anywhere which is going to be called the equivalent resource guide you can find once again the link down below in the description and anywhere here down below there are some tabs and somewhere is a fishing tab or something like that fishing there we go and then here you will find all fishes listed you can get your hands on and also you can see the exp and the price and for example we're gonna currently find getting sardine we get a bit less exp but we get a bit more in money and what you can also see the abalone gives us a 60 exp nothing fancy but a total increase in money just check this out we get 45 in money and later on when it comes to sorry we can easily go with that uh, we can still find get it and we can also get a good amount of exp with sorry then later on when we go to carp we can increase the value in case of exp quite horrendously but we have a lower price over here uh, how do you yeah d uh, yeah use your Im imagination actually uh, to play a game this is a text based game so everything can be seen like when you talk to people which will be written down and you can see what they're talking about as well as what they have to say actually so and what you want to do is of course you want to make your way to probably the squid and uh, see what's going to be the best value for you in total so probably we find something in between which is not so helpful maybe the carp is going to give us a quite big value in case of exp but we get like no money for them so probably we want to skip the carp but go to the butterfish since we have like a good amount of both and uh, so this is what how we're gonna increase the values over here later on go to squid and sooner or later we will hit tuna and tuna is the one which is making you rich because it gives you 250 per tuna and also a good amount of exp and you are going to be like level 85 uh, depending on the net you have of course in like no time okay so let's get back my inventory space is full again as you can see this can run still on the browser it's not running when you're not in the actually on the browser so it's no um no problem how to defeat the water dragon epic warzaga i have no idea
I mean, I, I made videos out, up until the end of uh, chapter 8, I guess. So, and since the people, or there's like nobody or almost nobody is playing this one anymore because, you know, uh, all of that is kind of ruined. Uh, I'm not quite sure where or which one you're going to probably make. And also, I don't remember much of that since it's quite some time already so probably you want to um, check out the wiki and maybe you are lucky and somebody already has written down any you know any help for you i don't know if anyone even does that i mean once again the game is kind of dead nobody plays it anymore you can check it out in the congregate uh website and uh, you're gonna see that the chat rooms are probably like empty completely so i can now go fish abalone because i made my way to level 50 so i switch from sardines uh, to abalone and as seen we're gonna get more exp as well as way more money in the end uh, yeah i kind of quitted epic war saga i mean there's no purpose for me to make you know videos about a dead game so at the moment i at least i paused it because it doesn't make sense for me to play it at the moment. Since I don't see any value and probably nobody or almost nobody is going to watch the videos, I guess. So once again, this is just a guess, but um, there's also no support anymore, I guess. Also a guess. So uh, the, the the developers are showing up quite barely, if even if any, how anymore. And uh, so they let the game die again the second time and Somehow this is, uh, I don't know, not a good deal. So I'm gonna go get my abalone over here, meaning I fill, fill my inventory and when I sell those, like uh, 90 of that, I get like 3,600 or something in case of value, in case of coins. And that's now starting to become even better. And for the long run, it increases your value in case of fishing horrendously as well so what we need once again is we need or i need a 100,000 coins over here to increase the value so that i can get the 100,000 dollar auto fighting gnome or whatever it's called uh, to fight for me automatically and meanwhile he's fighting i can do anything else to increase even more my value i can even go fishing meanwhile he's fighting i just need to make sure that i take care of my inventory space but you know, who cares? Whenever we can automate things, why not? And this is a semi-idle game. As you can see, we need to wait until something is done. Or at least we're gonna need to make our way through. Oh, it's 45 each. That's nice. 17,000. And this is going to give us uh, the first uh, way, actually, to get way more money already. Like, now it starts to get better when we are at the point at level 40 where we can get like 45 per cell. And this is nice. I'm not quite sure if they say in the docs if that was 45. Oh yeah, they say. Okay, cool. So next one is going to be sorry. Probably we're gonna skip those. Uh, since uh, 60 is okay-ish and I still get 45 over here and probably Butterfish is going to be the next one I'm aiming for at level 50 and uh, so on and so forth. So all the other ones are quite, well, not useful, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It's a decision you need to make on your own. Uh, you was, were waiting for me to upload. Oh, that's cool. I mean, why don't you write me a message? Oh, by the way, could you upload a new video or stream or whatever? Um, you know. Uh, I don't know. Friday, probably not. Maybe uh, Saturday or Sunday. But I cannot promise anything. Because once again, the game is okay-ish. Uh, we can team up. No problem. We can do something. Yeah, I don't know how we can actually talk to each other and probably we're gonna we're gonna make a stream meanwhile doing so, I don't know. But yeah, several possibilities over here. Uh, but at the moment I have no idea if that is uh, truly working for me because I you know I have a rather small time frame at all and I need to check that out. Yeah, sure. Have a good one. See you later. Feel free to tune in anytime and have fun with Dauntless.
So, Abalone is almost full in my inventory, pretty decent. Uh, probably I go and get my hammer out sooner or later to increase my inventory space a bit more. Um, maybe to a hundred or even more. There are, I don't know how much you can actually get depending on the maximum strength, I believe. Probably there's something like 170 or so, which you can reach with each of these skills. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I hope I will. I don't know. Uh, yeah, good luck and see you later. So once again, I want to get my uh, level, uh, my fishing level to butterfish level so I can get the butterfish and uh, I need level 50 for that. And then I go and sooner or later will hit my tuna level without any problem, I guess. I can now go sell my abalone. And now you can see I have 22, uh, almost 22,000, 21,000 already in my uh, pocket over here. And this is absolutely where it starts to make money already. So fishing is the way where you go and increase your value or your coins the fastest. Especially when it comes to tuna later on and when you are able to make your way to the tuna. Once again, we need some, uh, for tuna, we need some uh, more money in total 25,000, I believe, uh, to get a small boat. Uh, otherwise, we don't reach the point where the tuna is. And so we're going to need to, you know, uh, save up even more money in total. So in total, we probably, um, once again, we... Uh, Maybe we're gonna go and get the auto fighter first, so he can fight for nets. Uh, so we can give him, a, or actually we equip a weapon, um, or maybe a net. Doesn't really matter, basically. And probably he is going to do the fights for us. Meanwhile, we are keep on fishing to uh, even be faster in the long run. So, and meanwhile, we are all doing all of that. We're gonna hopefully. Uh, get even richer since the big goal is going to be 777,777 for our auto banker. And also, meanwhile, on the way to that, we probably want to get the other gnome, which costs another 170,000 uh, gold or coins, which is going to uh, take all of our tuna from our inventory whenever we like to or whenever he likes to and bring this into the bank to automate that and even get more coins in the long run. So once again, there are, uh, everything goes or everything, the, the big goal is probably get all the gnomes you can get your hands on as well as unlock all the areas. Areas, meaning we're gonna need to get all our skills as high as possible I believe and also there will probably sooner or later will be even newer regions unlocked even better content to get there are some uh, level 80 weapons and stuff like that or tools which you probably want to get your hands on like uh, as I said before the earthen hammer uh, there's also a specific axe which is probably already in I'm not quite sure and there's also something else made of Ah, there are several tools already you may want to get your hands on as well to increase your gather efficiency, of course, like with a bigger axe, you can even get more stuff out of that. So I'm gonna sell again my all my abalone over here and I keep on going. Uh, because you want to you want to do this you I mean you need the coins no matter what and you need the levels uh, no matter what until you reach level 50 in fishing and currently I'm level 43 already meanwhile fishing and once again the big deal would be getting a better net and since this can uh, be some rather high time consuming part to get even a large net could take an hour probably too without having uh, you know an auto fighter or an auto uh, yeah one of these guys which is doing uh, like the one for the 100,000 coins who is giving you the possibility to get a net early or, you know, which you can get into the farming spot and uh, tell him to unlimitedly uh, smack up the enemies, which are, as I explained before, like in the other one, in the other video, where we where I was farming for the next network, which are a kappa. Then we have the manfish and the fishman, which are dropping probably all three are dropping, um, yeah, better nets. And that's also where I got my medium net, if you haven't seen the video. 
So, and once again, we need a lot of money over here still, and we need to uh, uh, get more abalone. Once again, since the gas efficiency is not the best at the moment, as you can see, DPS is 0.57, probably based on the damage of the net. We gonna uh, probably think about getting a large net later on, or even a magic net. Once again, magic is super rare, so probably you want to... Uh, yeah, let your guy auto fight over the night. I don't know, uh, but you need to take care of that. He is uh, doing good, and your inventory space is probably big enough to hold all the all the drops over the night. So probably you want to uh, get your hammer ship higher as well as your strengths to probably I don't know level one or level seventy strengths or something just to make sure you have enough inventory space, like one hundred twenty or so. Um, so you can even put in more fishes, more everything. So as you can see, meanwhile, I talk and I let the abalone run over here. I make my way slow but steady to the 100,000. I'm almost at 30,000 right now with some more cells over here. I'm gonna hit the 30,000. It's taking quite some time. Once again, it depends on the inventory space you have as well as what net you have. So the, the bigger net, the, the better. Of course, the faster you can get the abalone. And once again, the faster you can also increase later on go into this. Uh, somehow it tells me that my stream went off for a second, so probably there are some uh, lagging inside over here. Uh, anyways, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to keep on going until you're rich. And this is how you make more money in rather small amount of time, I would say. I mean, yeah, that's what you do here. And fishing, once again, is the... The, the fastest way at all. It's a bit troublesome to get to the point, as you probably already have seen before. But yeah, the you don't have a choice, right? So um, you need to go to this point over there. I'm gonna drink some. So, uh, yeah, this is a decision, once again, you need to make on your own. Do you want to go and get the auto fighter first? I recommend totally to do this. You could also go and, um, like, when you're doing something like overnight, when you go sleep, leave your PC on, let the game run, do uh, get uh, somebody who is uh, taking your fish back to the bank, and the next day, whenever you wake up and check it out, you probably have way more fishing level, as well as... Um, a good amount of fish in your bank stored, which you can just uh, drag to the, you know, to the shop and sell completely just to make sure you get rich overnight. I mean, that's a possible step over there. A lot of people do that. I was trying this out at first. Uh, 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 I was trying this at all. And uh, I ended up with a level, what is it? 98 or something in case of fishing. So almost level 100, just doing this one overnight. But... Uh, the different wa difference was uh, my medium net was not a medium net. I got an, a large net before, uh, so it increased the time in, and, of course, the efficiency completely. Also, I bought the 170,000 dude, and also I had like quite some money already from tuna fishing to make sure that I can increase that. Um, yeah, so once again, this is going to be uh, the way to more money. Take your inventory or yeah, take your net, the best you can get actually, and increase your inventory space and then just, yeah, just let it run. I mean, that's the best way you can do at the moment over here. When it comes to smithing, like when you want to smith some ore and stuff like that, you might want to skip that at the very beginning anyways, because this just type consuming, you have to click like a lot of times and before you can get your hand onto the auto smith, which is also a hundred thousand, you might want to stick to the auto battler because uh, you have a, in long term, you're going to have a way more efficiency in that because you f can find a large net meanwhile you do uh, the smithing by hand and later on you can think about getting the auto smith which is probably not even necessary i mean there's no point at the moment into getting better weapons and stuff like that with better 
uh, like like an aluminium something you don't really need this because there's no purpose in doing that because uh, except maybe for axes where you can increase your wood chopping efficiency but that's it i mean that's the only thing you need to do over here and yeah abalone once again i'm almost done with the next free space over here or was the next inventory fulfilled over there i'm gonna get even more money from that i just let it run over there and make my way slow but steady to the 40,000 so the next run will be it will this one will be uh, sooner or later of course be at level or will be 40,000 coins over here my level of fishing will increase sooner or later getting better getting higher probably I can boost this later on with the carbs and don't care about the money might be a good way to get faster to level 70 until I can or until uh, yeah I uh, reach this point or probably at least 70 or something once again uh, you can check out the resources guide with all this exp involved so probably want to whenever you hit level 50 get the uh, or catch some carp with 200 exp in total and you're gonna do this until level 60 where you can get salmon and uh, catch these until you reach level 70 uh, probably that is also going to be a good way you don't get much money until this point but once you hit this point you're gonna make a huge amount of money with tuna later on but also until this point you need to save up uh, i believe 25000 for the boat to even reach the space or the spot where the tuna is going to be located at so keep that in mind this is uh, so you don't spend your money uh, for something you probably don't need to but in the long run you're going to earn more whenever you go to the tuna spot so let's uh, anyhow see that we can reach uh, fishing level 50 as soon as possible so you're gonna better don't waste too much time into that once again a better net will help you over here but it can take you take you quite some time to get a better one if you don't have one already and uh yeah that's the point of having better fish nets you cannot make your own fish nets at the moment uh, so you're gonna need to take yeah your axe or whatever weapon you choose and yeah slay a lot of monsters down until you get at least a medium a small one is uh, is also possible but of course the efficiency is quite low on these uh, small nets as well but you more might want to uh, go back basically and hunt for large nets again there are hundreds of possible uh, not hundreds but uh, two or three spots where you can uh, kill copper i guess copper is going to be three points in the game where you can uh, hunt them down but a uh, fishman manfish and copper spot is only on two positions in the game i believe so i gonna sell my abalone over here once again reaching 42,000 already in gold or coins which is absolutely nice and insane here you, by the way, can also buy these boats, which you need, in uh, West Uragota docks, which you need later on to go to the tuna spot. Just keep that in mind. You might want to go back here and uh, go get for 25,000 the small boat to reach the ocean platform or whatever it's called to get your hand onto tuna at least. So, and yeah, you want to get uh, your level first to level uh, 50 pretty quick to get carp or if you want to get more money on the long run you might want to go with the butterfish again you can also go from carp later on to salmon uh, at level 60 probably that's even a better route by using carps to increase your fishing level even faster since at the moment it's kind of slow um, but still we're gonna get some money with that uh, fishing level over here let's see what i can do with any other fish is there any other one which has more exp well yeah the sorry is going to give us a bit more exp in total like 85 as you can see in this list once again the link is down below in the description um, to this docs document over here so you might want to check this one out uh, of course you get less in a case of money when you sell them but 
who cares, right? I mean, $5 more or less doesn't really matter at all, I guess. So, and that's what you want to do it as well. So, you can fish for sorry also here in the West Uragota docks, if you haven't seen that already, which will give you 15 more in case of EXP. So, probably I'm gonna change my mind and uh, go and fish for sorry instead of uh, going fishing for the Avalo or Abalone to increase my fishing EXP in the long run. Maybe I'm gonna do this, I can just stop it and take the sorry in this particular case. They are two level higher, I can take them, I can uh, sell them of course, well for a bit less in case of money, but I can probably, no I will increase my fishing level a bit faster. So once again, the big goal in case of fishing is going to be level 70. So you might want to keep on going. Once again, go back and forth, sell everything you get or got, and then go back and keep on fishing until you are reaching the goal. So I'm going to sell my abalone. I'm going to sell my sorry over here as well and go back to the docks and keep on going with sorry. Probably I can just get more money in total when I... Yeah, actually catch these guys. And, well, not money, but EXP in this case. Since, once again, as you can see, it's only 15. Or it's uh, actually 15 more. Or even 15, 25. Let's see again. Wow, it's even 25 more EXP in total when we are taking the story. Wow, that's a, a good one, actually. Okay, good to know. So uh, you better stick to Zori because you want to uh, get even more EXP, of course, in the long run uh, to level up this one even faster. So once again, we are in the West Uragota docks where you can get the Zori. And once uh, your inventory is full again, you're going to sell them. You can see I'm already hitting level 40, oh, 48 over here. And probably in the next couple of minutes, I'm able to reach level 50 so we can go and fish carp. And once again, carp is giving us like 200 in EXP, as you have probably seen already in the list or in the docs document, where you can go and um, yeah, level fishing fast to level 60 from the level 50 of course. Uh, in this case we probably ignore the money amount over there but want to increase um, our level pr as quick as possible to level 60. And then we go once again to Salmon and uh, catch those and then we go forward. And meanwhile we are leveling all of that up until level 70. We should have some good amount of coins in the long run and we should be able to catch tuna in i don't know maybe some more minutes maybe 10 to 20 minutes after that and also we should be able to get our once again our boat which we need to go to the tuna place um as well as probably get the auto fighting dude already which we can set to auto fight to get us a large net and this is what you probably want to uh, keep in mind, don't forget you need to have a bigger net to make it more efficient. Magic is super helpful if you only get a large net. Even that is more or better, more efficient uh, than the medium one. But still, oh no, not sardines. I want sorry, of course. Um, it is important that you get just a super good net over here. So once again, once you get a large one, uh, screw away or, or throw away or sell your medium net, you don't need it anymore. Keep probably, just in case, one extra large net later on into your bank. If you just uh, make a mistake and uh, sell it if by whatever or for whatever reason. And meanwhile, once again, you go up there, you're going to earn quite some good amount of money onto your road to uh, level 70 in fishing. Once you're done with that, you can keep on storing money or keep uh, or you want to get actually to the tuna place you can easily get your 170,000 uh, for the auto fishing helper which is going to bring the tuna to your bank and later on you're going to have so much money from the tuna uh, so you can get the the selling dude over there as well so and that's what you want to do to even once again get more and more money keep on fishing you sh you should be able to do it once again swordmanship level 50 easily farmed as you probably have seen in one of the last videos 
Uh, no problems at all with that. Inventory space, once again, is related to strengths. So if you increase your strengths, you're going to get more inventory spray space. Sooner or later, it will, especially when you actually, yeah, for example, go for the swordmanship or when you want to uh, go into knife sh knifemanship. This will later on level up automatically anyways. Uh, and most of the time you're going to make use of the knife whenever you are hunting for whatever. You probably want to stick to uh, swordmanship as well because it increases strength. Knifemanship probably does not do it. So uh, keep that in mind. Just check it out and see what's increasing whenever you kill something with that. And uh, X-Manship probably does not go into deftness as well as the Hammermanship, but they're gonna both increase strengths, but not deftness. So these are going to be, this is going to be deftness only, this is going to be deftness and strengths, this is even more strengths, I believe, same man uh, over here, Hammerman only goes for uh, strengths in total, and... Yeah, that's probably everything you need to know about these weapons. And that's it doesn't really matter what kind of weapon you use, at least not for the moment. Later on, there might be uh, a p purpose of uh, doing all of that. But yeah, you get the idea, right? So at the moment, it doesn't matter if you have a copper one or if you have an aluminium one. Because, yeah... You don't have any uh, extra, uh, I mean, the damage you do is not high enough, or actually not, you don't need high damage actually. And also the damage is boosted through this particular uh, shipments over here, as well as it is, uh, some units are good against something and some are bad against something. So if you find who is going to get what or is better or or even not better than something, then of course you're gonna get the idea even better and you understand that it doesn't really matter what you take. You can even take a stone axe and hammer onto something. Of course, the the damage amount you do is rather slow and or low in the beginning, but with increased axemanship, of course you increase the damage value. So, and with that said, we are almost hitting a level 50 in fishing, and we can go with the carp fishing. So, just we, the only thing we just need to do is, of course, we need to find the carp and bring our net out and just keep on going until we are reaching fishing level 60. And, of course... Get some, we don't get much money with hunting the carps for the next 10 levels of fishing, but no problem at all so i got level 50 over here so i'm gonna switch instantly to not lose too much time first i sell my sorry and i can go once again to this list and see where are the carps located they are in the rocky shores in the dark river bridge and we unlocked this one already so we can go directly to this go for fish for carp and once again the amount of exp can be seen whenever you hover over it you see 200 exp per carp it takes a bit more time right now uh, so now the fishing efficiency comes into place and it probably makes sooner or later more sense to get a large net over here but for the moment i'm gonna stop the streaming over here i'm literally done with everything i wanted to tell you i'm almost uh, done or uh, as you can see i have 56,000 uh, just for uh, farming uh, the next the auto battle dude probably i switch to butterfish i'm not quite sure about this once again butterfish will give you more gold in the long run but less exp in case of fishing so you want to decide probably what you are going to go after once again you can take the butterfish in this case but you once again will get more money but less exp as once again seen in the list i've shown you over here 90 in case of exp but you can sell it for even more gold and probably reach the gold earlier than the level 70 in case of fishing for tuna so all of that is a decision you need to make over there once again you can go with the carp you can go with the butterfish nothing fancy at all once again you get more gold in the long run when you have an inventory space like 50 you get like 4500 coins per run uh, until or per run uh, by filling up the butterfish or actually catching butterfish you should be able to reach them at the point east uragota docks it shouldn't be a problem for us whenever we stop by we can check this one out once again we get more money for that 
fishes but we can also go later on for the chat so which are sitting on level 52 and once again we can check these out in the list as well we're gonna get 150 exp and at least 40 um, of the price so maybe we're gonna go with the carp until we reach uh, the shed and then we switch back a bit down and uh, when we reach level 52 in case of fishing and probably take this one so we get at least something in case of pricing so once again, all of that is something what you need to take care of on your own. When you are done with Chad, you want to go to Squid because this increases the value again, also gives you quite some good amount of money. And at level 60, once again, you want to go and switch to Salmon. So with that said, I'm gonna leave the carbs basically. I keep the carp stuff running until I once again reach level 52 probably and switch to the shed as it said before or as I said before as you can see I'm already at level 50 to 51 meanwhile just hunting one inventory full of carps which is absolutely insane and probably helpful for you in the long run as well I'm gonna let this one run uh, until my inventory is full and then I check it out if I probably get my hands into fishing later on again. And so this is the way how you want to level up fast, get way more money and so on. So soon my inventory is full. I can go and sell all these carbs, probably run a second round of carbs, of course. But I'm gonna do this probably outside of the stream. But you get the idea. So I'm gonna sell all these carbs. They're worth nothing. As you can see, only 10. So I get 920 of uh, gold. At least it is something, but it's not the highest value. As you probably, yeah, can see over here. I'm gonna let the second one running meanwhile, I say. Thanks a lot for tuning in to the stream. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you do so, of course, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to see any kind of videos uh, of different games in the future. Thanks a lot for tuning in and I hope to see you in another live stream or video. Bye bye.